Hi there, this is Joe from Signage Live, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure Signage Live with your Barco ClickShare device. As you can see here, I have a Barco ClickShare CX50, and upon booting it up, this is the screen I will get. Now, before we begin, it's important to ensure three things. Ensure you have the unit powered on, you have an internet connection, and you also have a HDMI signal plugged into the HDMI output of that device. Upon doing so, you should get to a screen that looks like this, what we're seeing now. So what we're seeing here on the screen is the SSID for the device, as well as a password for that, along with the IP address as well. And we're gonna use that information there to connect to the Barco configurator, which is how we get started. It's worth noting that upon booting up, you may see a screen that looks like what I'm seeing here. Now, if you do, fear not, because what this is actually showing is still the SSID of the device. So what we can now do is look for the ad hoc Wi-Fi network that is associated with this device and connect to that. And that's gonna be step one. So here on my laptop, I'm using a Windows laptop in this case. I'm gonna go into my network settings. I'm gonna look for an ad hoc Wi-Fi network that has a name that reads similarly to that. In this case, I can see it listed here, which is ClickShare, and then the number that's listed there that ends in 304. I'm gonna click connect. And the password is ClickShare, all in lowercase. And this is the default password for all ClickShare devices. Okay, so now I'm connected to the associated ClickShare ad hoc Wi-Fi for this device. I can now navigate to the IP address that I've listed above. I'll also put this on screen here for you. Upon accessing the IP address of this device, we will be taken to the ClickShare configurator. And it's here that we can grab the XMS token to be able to attach this to an XMS cloud account. So in this case, what we're gonna do is use the username as admin. The password is also admin. Accept the T's and C's and log in. We will now need to run through the ClickShare configuration wizard as this is the first time setting this device up. And what we're gonna do is start the configuration. Here, we're gonna go through and press next. You can obviously set the automatic updates if you want to as well. As you'll see here, we have the meeting room name, which is the name of the device itself. You can change this if you want to. In my case, I am going to leave this as it is. Next, we're gonna be on the system tab. From here, the only thing we need to set is the time zone. I am going to select GMT in my case. Once I've selected my time zone, I'm gonna press next. Next again. On this page, we do get the option to change the password for the ClickShare configurator. You can do that if you want to. In my case, I am going to leave this as the default password. I'm then gonna press next, next again. And when I get to the last screen here, I can click finish configuration. And now we have officially set up this device within the ClickShare configurator. And from here, we can enable the XMS portal. So to do that, we're gonna go over to system on the left here and scroll down to the bottom here and we'll get an option for XMS. Upon clicking that, you'll notice that we get a device token here. And I'm gonna take note of that now. And I recommend you do as well, because what we'll need is this device token is what will be used to add this into our XMS Cloud account. Next, we're gonna to head to the XMS Cloud and I will add the URL at the bottom here. Upon doing that, you will of course be taken to this screen here. If you don't have an account, you will need to create one. In my case, I already have one. Once you've created one, you can then follow along as I'm doing now. So I'm gonna log into my ClickShare account. And now we are taken to the XMS dashboard. Now from here, we want to add our device into the XMS cloud. And we do that using the token that we took note of earlier. But before we do that, we want to be able to actually turn our Barco device into a digital signage device. And in order to do that, we need to add a digital signage integration into the actual XMS cloud itself. So to do that, we're gonna head over to the marketplace on the left here. And if you scroll down here in the bottom right, you will see there is already an integration in place for Signage Live. You're gonna click view details and add to XMS. Now it's important that you do this step before you proceed to where I'm about to go next. And the reason being is that if you do not have a digital signage integration added to your Barco ClickShare XMS cloud, you will find that when you try and configure a player within here, that you do not get the option to select a digital signage integration because there isn't one. Now we are ready to add this ClickShare device to our XMS cloud. So I'm gonna click on manage here over at the left, click add and add base units. Now, of course, here it's asking for the token ID, which is the token that we took note of earlier. I'm gonna paste that into this field here. And upon clicking continue, you can see that it has found our device right there. So I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna click finish. And now our ClickShare device is added to our XMS Cloud portal. 
So now we can add the signage live integration onto that device and turn it into a digital signage display. So I'm gonna click on the base unit itself and then click the little manage cog in the far right there. I'm gonna head over to configuration. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice there is a digital signage option. Now earlier I mentioned that we needed to add a digital signage integration before we try this. The reason being that if we didn't, when you come to the screen, you might find that digital signage is not available. So if you do find that that is the case, go back to the marketplace and add a integration, preferably signage live in this case, and then come back to here and you will be able to select that as an option. Upon clicking the digital signage option, you'll of course now see that we have a list of digital signage apps that we can apply to this player. In our case, we're just gonna select signage live here, which is already selected by default, and we're gonna click apply changes. And as you'll see, not long after we hit apply changes in this case, our player will soon display an activation code. And there we have our Signage Live activation code ready to activate against the license in your Signage Live network. I hope this helps. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch and we'd be more than happy to assist. We'll see you on the next one.